How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to another video. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who thinks that BMG has some of the most diverse driving environments offer for its players. From the deserts of Johnson Valley to Utah, to the sea streets of West Coast, to the country roads in Italy, to the very scenic drives that you can have in East Coast, along with the full blown racetrack in Hirochi, and not to mention the jungles. The very dense jungles, mind you, of Jungle Walk Island. There's a little bit in it for everyone. But with that being said, there's still a lot to be desired, at least for my personal opinion, which is why today's video, we're going to be to look at four maps that I personally think that you need here in BB. And before we get into what we're going to be talking about today, hey, remember, like what you see and want to see more. Turn hit that like button. And while you're down there, you also consider subscribing. Now, without further ado, on to the video. Okay, yes, I know I'm a, little, a bit cheating a little bit with this one, but uh, the first one is West Coast. Now, don't get me wrong, West Coast definitely is an amazing map. Like, it's super diverse with a racetrack, a city, not to mention the Redwood Forest that hardly anybody goes to, and the Spearleaf Island. And that's without you mentioning that the devs are constantly updating it, which I think is awesome. But it still leaves a lot to be desired. Also, I have the feeling that if we were to go into the map area, it's getting a bit crowded here. I mean, look at this. You got the racetrack, and then you have a... I think this is a gas station. And then you have a quarry. And then down over here, you have the Redwood Forest, which... I mean, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, yeah, you have this area too, but... Still not much. You have the little neighborhood here, along with the movie studio, the factory. You have uh, Spirit Leaf Island with the port and everything else here. All the other industrial areas with the lighthouse. But yeah, it's getting, in my personal opinion, a bit crowded in West Coast. For me, at least. Again, if you like the way West Coast is right now, hey, more power to you. I'm happy that you... Like west coast but they have confirmed the devs i mean when i mean by they they have confirmed that west coast is going to be the main map set for the career mode that they're still working on and with every new update they seem to add something else to west coast so i feel like that west coast personally needs a massive expansion i mean just a couple days ago we checked out a mod where it was for San Alamo, which is, if you didn't know, that was another city in West Coast. In fact, it's on one of the highway signs that you can see. And personally, I would, I would personally think that would be pretty cool to have a second city in West Coast. If if we were, if they were to expand it, obviously they would change a few things. Obviously, they would extend the highway first things first, first and foremost. I mean. It's not entirely out of the realm of possibility because uh, if you look down at the bottom of the map here, there's still highway there, which tells me they're not exactly done expanding the, the map as of right now. I mean, yeah, as of right now, they're obviously done. They're probably not going to do a whole lot for a while, but the fact that this is still there, because if you remember before the tunnels got introduced, this highway just pretty much ended. I mean, it doesn't exactly end. It still continues on. Like, obviously, there's this. And also, if you look under the map, there are still a ton of tunnels that just straight up don't end. But the fact that they, le that they left this, that tells me something. I'm wondering if that they're getting ready to possibly expand it. Maybe it's where the other city will go. I don't know. Maybe they have something else planned for West Coast. There's a reason why they left that highway there. At least for me, that's that's the reason I want to believe in my head. Also, if they were to expand it, obviously they would, need, they would do the other city, which would open up a lot more opportunities. It would probably, first thing first, it would probably make the trucking aspect of even a lot more fun. I believe of you, you to drive to one city the other physically and not switch maps like that would be a lot more immersive for me and other players probably 
And as well, they would probably also expand the Redwood Forest. Because, yeah, the areas that we have of the forest, West Coast, it ain't that much. Which is kind of a shame. It would just make, it would just further diversify the map. And also, they might expand the city. I'm not sure about that, though. Because, I don't know. I think the city is a fairly decent size. And that's saying something. Considering I, I always love a massive city and a massive map. But with that being said, yeah. West Coast definitely needs an expansion. But, yeah, that's basically what I have to say for West Coast. Anyways, as for the next map that I would like to see... Uh, added into the game is something a little bit more unique okay the next map that i would personally love to see in the game is a proper map that's in germany now i know what you're thinking there's already a germany map it's the a driver experience center but there's a few uh that i have with uh driver experience which don't get me wrong I love the map. I've used it in several videos, actually. I don't think it's a bad map. I actually quite like it. But there's one issue in particular that I have with it. Um, this is the map size. Yeah, not that big. And if you know anything about Germany, it has a major automotive industry. It's got Volkswagen, the largest automaker in the world. Not to mention the Nürburgring and the German Autobahn. Which are two very iconic locations, I would say, in the car world. And if they can't do another Germany map, or they just won't do it, here's another idea. Make a map that finds Germany and France. Because we have two auto manufacturers. There goes my camera. Anyways, as I was saying, we have two auto manufacturers that are kind of left out in the game. That being ETK and Barrier, respectively. It would be nice if they could have their own kind of map. It would make... Yeah, sure, we have Italy, but that's more reserved for, like, the Italian automakers, Autobello and Gavetta. It would just be nice to have, like, a, a Central European map, or a map that takes place in Central Europe, to word it more correctly. Again, just something nice to have. Now, on, for, on to another location in particular that I'm pretty sure that a lot of people would agree with me on this one. Okay, I'm pretty sure a lot of you saw this coming. Um, yeah. Did any of you really did not see this coming? Yeah, I'm, but to be fair, like, come on. It's Japan. Every car guy wants a Japan map in their car game. It's just a known fact. I mean... Can't exactly blame us for it. Japan has awesome. Japan makes awesome cars. Not to mention some of their legendary race tracks. Where's my camera again? So yeah, legendary cars, race tracks, and just a beautiful environment in general. How can I not mention that? And it would make it an amazing drift map. I'm just saying, it would make a great drift map. Just have like a a toke like mountain road type deal, the toge style. And it's kind of a real shame, considering that we have two Japanese auto manufacturers in the game, that being Ibishu and Hirochi, respectively. And there isn't really, they don't really have a map for their own country. I mean, obviously, there's a map for it right now. This is uh, the Tokyo Expressway map that you've seen in various videos uh, a couple weeks, especially during the last few weeks. And, yeah, I think it's a great map. It's a great map for you to cruise around in, that's for sure. But as for a Japan map in general, if you just want to, like, drive around, see, it's not really made for that. Like, the Tokyo Expressway map, it's just the Expressway, and that's it. And even then, like, yeah, it's a lot to be desired. Because it has most of the city mapped out. It has most of the city, like, placed in the game itself. Obviously, to an extent, because, you know, you, it would probably melt most people's computers if the entire city of Tokyo was on the map. But it's still nice to have. I'm looking at my armor because, like, it just, 
it's just a very sunny map. Also, it's awesome for you to just ground in. I will admit, I've done that in my spare time. And it's awesome. But yeah, Japan map definitely, definitely needed in Demon G. In my personal opinion. Although I'm sure a lot of people go with me on that. A lot of you guys. Anyways, on to the final map. I think it's bad. Alright, as for the final map on this video, uh, it's pretty much a Pike's Peak map. Obviously, this is not Pike's Peak. This is Mount Danger, another very awesome map mod, but you get... It was just to get the point across, okay? Like, you get the idea. Pike's Peak, like, iconic mountain and iconic track, if you will. Like, it's made for hill climb and time trial. Which is very fitting for the vehicle that we're in in the game. Yeah, hill climb versus the high Sunburst. sunburst. Actually, there's quite a few hill climb cars in the game, and there actually isn't a proper map for them. You can figure with a, a hill climb car, there would at least be a car, not, sorry, not a car, a map for said hill climb car, which they don't really fit in all that well any like the Italy map, yeah, sure, there are some mountain roads, but not like the types of roads that that those cars would be on. Hirochi Raceway, I mean, that's completely a uh, mountain. The driver experience there. That map is pretty flat. Automation Test Track map, that has some mountain roads, but like, no one really uses the Automation Test Track outside the test track itself. Uh, West Coast. Yeah, the only mountain road I know of are dirt roads. Yeah, those cars aren't stepping me. But you get the idea. I could go on and on. You get the idea, though. Like, Demon G is in desperate need of a proper Pike's Peak map for these cars. So that way people can do what they want to do. Like, do their Pike's Peak time trials in simulation of And which would probably bring a, a huge amount of potential for the time trial mode that they have in the game already. But, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I tried thinking of, thinking of a fifth map that I would, I would like to see in the game, but I couldn't really think of any. So, it was four. I know it's technically three because West Coast is already in the map, but still, if it gets it in our expansion, it'll probably become a different map in general. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I didn't do any of the maps in any particular order. Just it was just like maps that was on my mind. Like, huh, in the game. But but that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.